Hey guys, welcome back. Another insider live stream with uh, my lovely colleague Eric. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? I uh, see a lot of good vibes in the chat, which is nice. Yeah. A lot of colleagues joining, a lot of old timers. Very good to see you all back, guys. So this is a special live stream today, right? Because yes. normally we talk all about gaming and, and uh, FPS and that RGB is faster. <laughs> yes, yeah, today it's, uh, it's a little bit special. Uh, we're not going to talk about gaming today. Even not about RGB? Uh, sorry? Not about RGB? Not about RGB, no. Uh, even though Lucky is in the back, he's, he's always yeah. there to mascot us. But uh, today we're going to talk about uh, our professional lineup uh, and, and specifically about all-in-ones. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. That, that, Merrick that, that. is correct in the chat. Uh, he says, you have to be the most well-dressed on the stream ever. <laughs> well, it's a business stream. So I, I thought, I figured I, I looked the part, you know? So Ralph yesterday, shall I uh, put on a suit? I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Sure, you do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah indeed. But I wanted to look business, uh, business so I hope I, I, I nailed it, guys. Um, you did. But yeah, yeah. Well, Eric, you also look very nice today. Uh, if the chat doesn't say it, I will say it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, uh, yeah. Also, all in ones. Uh, what is an all in one? Is 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 your question? Uh, well, an all in one is pers uh, basically uh, a full computer uh, in a m built into a monitor, uh, as you can see right before me. Uh, this is a, a full system. It doesn't need a, a separate case. It's just uh, a screen and, and computer in one, um, which especially for, uh, for business, uh, and that's what we're focusing on nowadays with MSI, can be very ben beneficial. I remember uh, I took one all in one apart. And that's what we're not going to do today because yes. it's still in a few pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All in ones, uh, if you take them apart, uh, then uh, they're very, bar very hard to put back, get back together again. Uh, no RTX or GTX today, guys. No, no RTX or GTX. I'm very sorry. Yeah. So uh, we also have a giveaway, Ralph. Yes, sir. I will show you what actually, because uh, you can also maybe you've already seen it here, but today we are giving away five pieces of the modern LED Lux, uh, which is a uh, a light, which is uh, also made for business. But uh, I think uh, even if you're a gamer, you can uh, you, you can use it. Uh, I will show you basically what it is. It is a LED LED strip for on top of your monitor, like so. And this goes directly on top of your monitor and will prevent your eyes from actually having strain. So this is an LED, it, it shines down, uh, it, it lights up your keyboard, it light, lights up your working area. And uh, uh, because of this, you, uh, you have less eye strain as well, which for the long working days can be, uh, can be nice. Yeah, uh -huh. so this can be used on different places if you want to read in bed, Mr. Master Dux, <laughs> that's correct. And if you want to read and in bed, yes, did give the And indeed, we had a bundle in the past with uh, uh, some uh, monitors in the past as well, indeed. Yeah. Um, so you can win this. Uh, you can uh, join uh, on... Uh, I will post uh, the link also in, in several... Um, I need to do that, yeah. Uh, I will post the link also in several chats uh, because we're also live on LinkedIn. Yeah. Uh, on YouTube and Twitch, uh, you know, the, the bot will spend the link and uh, we are giving away five today. So actually, I hope I'm the lucky winner because I tested uh, the, the Gleam this morning. So yes. my data is also inside. Let's see if the system decides to pick me. Yeah. Probably not. Giveaway is mostly global, Merrick. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, Merrick is wondering if the... the uh, Giveaways Global. You can see on the Gleam page uh, in the link in the description or from the spam bot. Except uh, I think for Italy and some other countries. In your country. Italy because of VAT, yes. yeah. tax reasons. Yep. We also have a guest, right? And we do. Yes, we do have a very special guest from HQ, which is... Uh, Let us check if he's there. Let's please check if he's there. Darren, are you still here? Yes. I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Darren. <laughs> right now. You look yes. tired because already uh, 10 o'clock in the evening, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Darren is uh, from our headquarters. Uh, he's working for our uh, all-in-one team, um, and he's already a few years in MSI. So maybe Darren, maybe you can tell us something about yourself. Uh, right. Um, I'm Darren. I work in, in the uh, CND uh, product planning department. So uh, basically, I am responsible for the uh, product spec for the, or including the AIO and all the uh, commercial desktop, including the QB series as well. 
Oké, okay, QB. Uh, I also remember I took one apart and still broken. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So and product planning. So basically, you are the guy we need to talk to if you want to have something change. For example, we see, uh, hey, why will we? Can we have a Thunderbolt on it, or can we have, a, uh, can we have a 28 screen instead of 27 inch? So you are basically uh, looking at the market and checking what the trends yeah, are. Correct. Okay. So maybe uh, I'll do some uh, market research to yeah. to know the, uh, the the market trend and put the uh, uh, right spec on our product. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Nice. nice. All right, yeah, but I th welcome very much, uh, Darren. Thank you for joining us, even though it's late for you. Stay awake. Stay awake. <laughs> no problem, sure. Yeah. Um, so everybody, if you have some questions, you can uh, put them in the chat, yes. uh, and we will try to answer them. Of course, I mean, we know a lot of things, but for sure not everything. Yeah, for some of you, Darren might be a very interesting person to ask questions yeah. uh, to. So uh, feel free to post them in the chat. Let's maybe talk a little bit about all in ones because we also have a, a project page. Let me see if I can share that one. Yes. So uh, I explained what all in ones are. Um, just to show you some uh, some user cases, we have a very nice website uh, which you can visit yourself as well, which is Pro Projects, our MSI.com slash pro dash projects. Uh, and here you can see uh, it's, be, it's used for multiple purposes. So uh, education, uh, for, for, for social spaces, for medical, warehouses, entertainment, hotels, you know, you name it. Yeah. Um, and uh, you can get as creative as you want, of course. It's, it's a very compact system. Uh, here, for example, you see uh, some type of, of internet cafe uh, or, or a workplace where, where all-in-one is very convenient to have a compact uh, workspace. Uh, so this is actually a workspace as well, a private workspace. There's a call center a in call Italy. Center, uh, where it's also convenient not to have like a big case on the side and uh, it will take up a lot of space. Or even at the dentist where you maybe need a touch screen uh, <sighs> to, uh, to look at your teeth or to zoom in, zoom out. Live you, action you, on the camera right there. Live action. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> there see we go own, in. Uh, your own teeth. Yeah, we're drilling now. <laughs> Actually, well, uh, uh, when I went to the gym, I still go to the gym, but now uh, in MSI. Uh, but when I went to an external gym, uh, they also had the system with MSI all at once. Yes. Uh, so you could uh, log not only log in, but also see your progress. And yeah, you know where my progress is going, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, quite convenient. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, you can uh, uh, you can put it basically on a stand. You you can build it in in a casing if you want. Um, uh, and there are more, many more projects here. Yes, there, you can feel free to visit the site yourself if you want more information about uh, user scenarios or if you think. Here also uh, some example from a gym. Yeah, from a physical therapist or a gym, they can monitor your uh, your muscle growth and your your weight, etc. Um, and it, it also because of the touch screen, it, it can be very convenient to have it in a in a space like that. Yeah. Um, so moving on, uh, and the first question actually for uh, for uh, for Darren, uh, we wanted to show you a little bit uh, or ask you a little bit about the the market status. Um, if you, I don't know if you can explain a little bit about uh, about the market right now, Darren. But um, uh, we have some slides prepared. Um, oh yes, we have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, feel free to uh, to take it away. Uh, what is it? What we're seeing here, Darren? What is, What are the trends? Uh, currently, we, uh, the whole AIO market per year is about uh, twelve million a year. All right. So basically. It's uh, we can see uh, so uh, probably three million per quarter. Okay. Right. right. And yeah. and we see it shifting more and more towards uh, commercial. If I look at the graph here, uh, we we see year on year it's it's shifting a little bit from uh, from consumer to commercial. So that means more businesses right. are investing in uh, in all in ones. Right. Uh, so. After I think uh, after the pandemic, so more uh, more commercial activity is going right. up. So the your uh, AIO sells more. All right. Yeah. I even remember because here you see clearly that uh, Q1 2021 versus Q2 uh, from this year, you see the commercial part growing. Uh, I still remember in the past we had a, a consumer uh, gaming all-in-one. 
so it was a red one with a, with discrete graphics inside. Um, and actually, I had I, I I still remember I was on CEO of a Computex in the one, and I had some editors uh, asking me, hey uh, Eric, uh, uh, do you think this is going to sell? And and at that moment I said, uh, well I don't know, but. When we started, when MSI started with gaming notebooks, also everybody was like, notebook gaming, come yeah, on, right. I want a desktop, I want to have my uh, CRT <laughs> monitor. So uh, at least we tried. Uh, in the end, you see now the market is, is, is getting, sm uh, the commercial market is getting bigger. And that's also uh, on what we focus. And in there, I think, Darren, you also see a shift in the size of the money, of uh, the, the markets, right? Uh, right, uh, more and pe more people are uh, asking about the. Uh, can we have the AL with the uh, graphic, graphic card? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but basically, um, in our study, uh, people prefer the, the the tower tower desktop rather than an AIO. Yeah, because yeah, because they they need a higher. Uh, graphic card uh, also they need the high refresh uh, monitor bigger yeah. monitor maybe curved monitor so that's why currently the AI cannot uh, fulfill their the needs yeah so and that's also why we focus more at the, the commercial uh, part I see in this slide that yeah. um, uh, several like PRC used to be very big PRC I'm, I'm, that's the people Republic of China so that's the China um, so now that's shrinking right because of uh, why is that yeah because China is uh, once again they they start uh, uh, some uh, uh, restriction because of the pandemic oh, COVID-19 yeah 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 that's why PRC is dropped a lot. Yeah. yeah. And do you see still see that coming back? Yeah, I think so. The market will come back after the pandemic, of course. Mm -hmm. So uh, we see the PRC is dropped, but the total number, the total quantity is uh, roughly the, the same. That means the other countries are going up. Yeah. Right. And do you see then a few specific countries where you see the biggest growth? Besides uh, USA and PLC? Yeah, I think we have more uh, opportunity in the Euro countries like uh, the UK, Germany, Italy, France. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know from the yeah, past Italy is always very strong in this segment. Yeah. Um, I already talked a little bit, bit about it, uh, about the screen size. Right. Uh, the major trend in, in screen size is 24 inches, and we can see the uh, total percentage is going up more than half. So uh, also we can see the smaller size, like 22 inches, from 29% uh, down to 18%. So people prefer a bigger and bigger screen right now. Yeah, and we still don't see anything and like uh, like 32 or 34 inch, or is that too big? And curved? Uh, no, yeah, not yet. The, the mainstream still uh, stick under 24 inches. Okay. But what we can see, 27 inches is, is growing. So yeah. ba basically what you're saying is yeah, people we, are looking for bigger monitors nowadays. Right. Yeah. So that's why uh, MSI currently uh, focus more on the 24 and 27 inches AI. Right. Perfect. Perfect. I see some people in the chat talking about all-in-one computer versus all-in-one cooler. Yes. It's uh, confusing. <laughs> Honest mistake. Yeah. Yes, it is, yeah, it uh, is. confusing. I can uh, understand Are, why are there uh, different uh, names for all-in-one for the computer? Because uh, we also have all-in-one cooler, like all-in-one uh, liquid cooler. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the gamers are a bit uh, confused. confused. <laughs> uh, Pach uh, Lamia is asking on Twitch, uh, are these all in ones with touchscreen? Uh, yes, some are. Uh, we have some configurations. And Raaf will later also do a live demo. Exactly. Because you have one right uh, there, right? The, let me see this one. Yes. I also saw some uh, 
uh, some questions about uh, uh, you know what the most common inches are for all in ones. Uh, we will we will get on that uh, in a bit. Um, first, I think uh, we will uh, analyze uh, by CPU. Uh, I don't know if, if Darren can tell us a little bit more about uh, the CPU trends that we're seeing. Uh, it, am I correct to say that the 27 inch is, is more i7, i5, and, and the rest is uh, lower end? Yeah, correct. People prefer uh, uh, i5 and i7 in the 27 inch AIO, right. and i3 and i5 for the 24 inches and below. Yes. And, and is that a, uh, that's a year on year trend? Um, yeah. Are you also seeing differences with uh, with touch or non-touch, or uh, is that what, what are the trends there? Uh, about the touch screen, uh, the total number is around uh, twenty percent of the, the the market are equipped with the touch screen. Right. But when we talk about the uh, USA market, mm -hmm. uh, about fifty percent touch screen uh, the rate in rate so people in USA prefer touch screen AIO right. okay okay I also see uh, uh, Marco on uh, Twitch is uh, is actually saying people are looking for 2k and 4k resolution screens mm -hmm. uh, what about all in one do you all see this this trend with high resolutions because the models we're talking today about I think are 1080p yes yeah but uh, by my observation of the, the all the competitors, uh, basically uh, we are still focused on the full HD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and mean, maybe with uh, well, because we're we're today we're focusing a little bit more on the, the modern series as well. I think uh, so. Maybe yeah. maybe in the future we will have some higher end, uh, uh, higher resolutions. Is that something that's coming up, uh, Darren, or uh, that we could look forward to? Or yeah. Yeah, of course, we, we still uh, study and contact our vendor if they have uh, the higher resolution screen, mm -hmm. which is, uh, yeah, can fit on our AIO in the future. Yeah, right. So, uh, Chronic uh, Mayhem is saying on Twitch again, uh, touch screens only make sense in the two in, a, uh, two in one laptops. Uh, well, actually, these, like what we showed before, these all in one PCs, uh, they are also used in in like uh, offices, uh, but also uh, hotels uh, where guests can check in or uh, like what I talked about, fitness centers. So yeah, touch is in a lot of places convenient, yeah. especially uh, also because the young generation and I'm talking for about my sons, which are seven and ten years old. <laughs> They, you know, I, I had a book when I was young and they have a, a tablet when they, they are now young and they think everything is touch. When they see something on my <laughs> notebook, they want to touch the screen. And well, I don't have a touch screen on my notebook. When they see something on the TV, they, want, they are touching my TV because they think it's, you know, they can inter interact with it. <laughs> so uh, the, the big problem with touch screen, of course, is that uh, you still need to have the right interface. And we're now talking about all in one. So a lot of these models, they get uh, dedicated uh, software, for example, in a hotel where you need to check in. And then uh, touch also makes sense because the, it's, so, it's software driven. The interface exactly. makes mm -hmm. that it's usable. Yeah, or, it's, uh, or if you have to register in a gym for a new subscription or something like that, yeah. then, then you only have very set choices. So you can just run uh, through a multiple choice menu really fast by just uh, doing it by touch. You don't really need a keyboard for that. Uh, just fill in the basic information and you're fine and you're good to go. Uh, usually, you know, the, the speed uh, the speed is a lot faster when you use uh, touch monitors in these cases. Anything related to self-check-ins in a hotel or self-check-ins into gyms or, uh, you know, maybe internet cafes uh, will, will benefit from touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Um, yeah, let's let's move on. Thank you, Darren, for that um, for that insight. Um, um, we also want to talk a little bit about the, the naming rule. Um, we have some naming rules that we can show on the screen, Eric. Yes. Uh, so we have a different, like we said before, we have different series. Uh, I also mentioned uh, a little bit the the summit series already, uh, a little bit of a teaser. But basically, from high end to low end. Uh, our, our models or model numbers or model names start with uh, Summit, Modern or Pro. Uh, Summit being the, the most high segment. Today we're going to talk about mostly about Pro, 
uh, modern, sorry, uh, and specific models uh, you will see later. Um, uh, the product series uh, will be uh, uh, named with the A for all-in-one, obviously, very easy choice. It's also interesting, so if we have a, uh, <coughs> a monitor, it will be M, M Yes. Uh, for monitor. Yes, and even gaming mouse, gaming keyboard is GK, G, GS, uh, or GM. So, you know, uh, the, the naming rule usually makes sense. <laughs> if you <laughs> know how to decode it. If you know how it. to use it, yeah. So that's also why we're explaining. Uh, it's, it's a little bit easier for you guys to see what, uh, you know, what you're actually looking at. Um, after that comes the uh, again the, the 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 series so the segment um, so some uh, some maybe uh, lists from uh, from uh, from factories or whatever don't really list uh, the first uh, the first words summit modern or pro um, so here you also have the series so S for summit M for modern P for pro um, then you have the screen size, which uh, runs from uh, 27 inch to, you know, as you can see here, 24, 16, uh, 14 even. Uh, that, that number is, uh, is, is there for that. Uh, the number after that will give you a generation. So um, today, for example, we will be talking about the AM242, which is the second generation of this specific on one uh, so the rest of the, the spec or the, 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 the size is the same, but uh, it's the second generation, so it might have, you know, a new CPU or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's more than that. I mean, there can be features, new features. Exactly. It's a really yeah. uh, new iteration of the model, so like a uh, version 2. Yeah, a perfection. <laughs> uh, after that, it, it's, uh, it's the segment, so the platform. We usually do Intel, uh, but uh, if it's AMD, then it will list the Z behind it. And then, of course, for touch and for uh, for the stand type, so for adjustable stand, uh, we have T for touch and P for the adjustable stand. Uh, I think those are the most important ones to uh, to list. There's yeah, I think if you look at the, the roadmap, you see those names already. Yes. So it's modern AM272. Anybody still remember what it is? <laughs> so that's modern series, A for all-in-one, M4 modern again, and then uh, was it 272? This is a 27 inch, second generation, and then 12M is the, the CPU basically uh, generation that's in there. So yeah, that's how you uh, how you look. So at Darren, the you also uh, you get a lot of complaints about this naming rule because uh, <laughs> this was also a comment in the chat already. Uh, when we talk about gaming monitors, the naming rule is really complicated. So do you get a lot of comments about uh, the naming rule for all-in-one or is it clear to most people? Um, I think it's clear to to uh, MSI staff, of course. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit uh, complex for the, the, the users. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, what I know from the past, the big problem is we have the rule and then there is always an exception to the rule. Yeah. And when we make an exception, <laughs> yes, yeah, because correct. it's a special model, uh, that, that's what it makes difficult. Because if you now look at this roadmap, uh, you see already, uh, yeah, most, most models are quite familiar. I mean, I see one uh, Pro 16T, well, that's touch. I see one Pro uh, 22XT, I don't know what X means, but it means uh, uh, touch, I guess, the, the T. Uh, so, yeah, uh, and the top <laughs> ones, uh, which we highlighted, those two, uh, we're going to talk today about it. Uh, to, sorry, today about, and they are uh, available in different configurations. So we have an M2, uh, sorry, let's, uh, let us take the M, AM242, T or TP or P. So we have different uh, configurations of those models. Yes. And then the 27 inch, obviously, yeah. as well. Yeah. So it's the it's, uh, same series, basically, but then there's a, a bigger version. So moving on, uh, I think we can, uh, we can uh, live actually show you what, uh, what we're talking about. Um, I will actually switch to a live unboxing for you guys. Live unboxing. A live unboxing. There you go. So, so you have two actually. You have a, a black one on the desk. Yes. So this which is one is on the desk? This is uh, so the one on the desk is the the 24 inch version. That's the 242 uh, 12M. Okay. 
uh, the TP version specifically. So this one will have touch. We will uh, get back on that later and we will actually show you that as well. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this is the 27 inch version. And uh, yeah, let me just show you what's in the packing and how it's, uh, how it's packed uh, and what you, basically what you get for your money. Uh, let me just open it for you guys. We did already open this, so uh, no peeling today. I'm going to this view uh, without Darren, uh, because I know he's also answering some questions in the chat. Yes. Uh, then we don't hear the keyboard. But Darren <laughs> is still here, guys. Don't worry. Darren is still here. You can, you can still answer questions. We will yeah. pull him back up if, uh, if, if needed. Yeah. And then in the, mean, in the meantime, he will answer questions in the chat. So yeah, this is what the box looks like. Very easy. It's very well protected. Some pieces of foam you can take out. Uh, I will just throw them under my desk. It's going to be a mess here later, but that's, <laughs> that's First how it always is. Suit. When you're unpacking new things, it's always like, ah, oh, the packing, I don't care, you know, give me the product, give me the product. So let me just pull it out carefully. There you go. Uh, that's just an empty box, so all of it should be in here. Let me just put this down. There you go. And make sure I'm not blocking Eric here. And I keep that in my other ear. <laughs> right, so first of all, uh, you, we see a separate, two separate boxes here. Uh, there should be two at least. There you go. Uh, let me try to not block Eric too much. There. Oh, I dropped Aaron again. <laughs> So the first box um, is, is an obvious one. Uh, we've seen this before. Actually, let me pull up a, a second camera so it's uh, much easier to see. I hope it's still working. But this will show you guys a little bit more of a close-up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's already, yeah, it's working. There you go, it's working. So. Uh, mobile cam. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you get this little little box. Um, very easy to show what's in there. Obviously, you have your uh, your standard power cables, uh, which which you need obviously for uh, for power. Um, included is also screws for your mount. Uh, more on that later. I will keep those separate for for now. And this little piece. Uh, this little piece is very nice. I can actually show you that later. But uh, this basically goes on top of your camera. Uh, to have like a privacy cover for it. Then uh, a quick start guide is included, some uh, MSI stickers, I believe, that we always include. And I think there's a shout out uh, voucher in there that will show you to the shout out page. If you leave a review there of your product, then you can get some goodies or some, uh, some Steam credit or something like that. So that covers those basics. Let me get rid of this box. And then the other box, we have... <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. just checking. Yeah, no, no worries. Just no showing worries. that, that uh, it, those are your hands, not mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the other box, we have uh, a keyboard and a mouse also included. Uh, so nice. each all-in-one comes with a keyboard and a mouse? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, also in the, in the same style. So this, this uh, is a white all-in-one. So a nice white and uh, a keyboard and mouse, and it's wireless as well, which is uh, which is beautiful. So it, it comes yeah, I, I know. I mean, for this version, it's wireless, but really, please check your configuration yes. uh, yeah. with your uh, reseller uh, because uh, I know these kind of you know sometimes you have wire. Uh, some most times it's wireless, uh, but yeah, please check the configuration uh, what you're getting. Yeah. So these are uh, already connected because I connected them beforehand. Obviously, we, uh, we tested this stream before. Nice low-profile keyboard. Nice low-profile keyboard uh, and, a, and a nice uh, little mouse with an on and off switch. Not much to it, but uh, you know, it's, yeah, I think it's actually a very nice mouse for, uh, for professional use. It has uh, two side buttons, you know, very, uh, very stylish, and it really fits the design. So yeah, putting those aside, I will finally get to the product of the hour, which is the all-in-one itself. <laughs> no, no, no mechanical keys. What's that? Oh, no mechanical keys. Oh, actually, I forgot, almost forgot. Um, here's the bottom of the stand. 
uh, which uh, you can also see on the other camera. Let me not, not block Eric too much. So you can see in the bottom of the sand, I don't know if you can switch the camera, Eric. Yeah, 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 moment yeah. finding it. Um, this is a uh, screwless, or not screwless, but it's a uh, tool-less tool -less design. Yes, yeah. that's the word I was looking for. So um, that basically means you, you don't need any tools to, uh, to put this together. Uh, the, the top of the stand just uh, goes in here. I will unpack that now and show you actually. So uh, mean, meanwhile, I'm going to do a lucky draw so you can continue uh, yes, unboxing. Sir. I will try not to oh, look packing. There. So this is packed a little bit sturdy, so I need to pull it out pretty mm, hard. Maybe I win. <laughs> maybe Eric wins. Yeah, Eric actually subscribed today to the giveaway. But uh, I'm pretty sure uh, MSI employees are not eligible to win. Sorry, well, guys. Uh, I make the rules, so <laughs> maybe <laughs> I'm included. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. You never know. You never know. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, this, this just clicks in here. Uh, let me show you that. There's uh, there's two two little uh, parts here that that fit exactly into the monitor bottom, and then you can just turn the screw, and it will fit. Uh, that's uh, that's easy assembly. You know, it's not complicated. Anyone can do it. And then let's get to the all-in-one itself, which I do should not drop. On my first live stream in my nice suit. Well, they appreciate your suit. That's, that's good. Yeah, maybe, well, uh, at least somebody noticed. Our style, so <laughs> next week I have to show up in suit as well. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we all have to but show up in But that wouldn't be funny. Now. I mean, I would like to see Michiel in suit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen him in Have you seen him in a suit ever before? Yeah, probably. Maybe in Taiwan. Probably. <laughs> On the business meetings. We, we will see. We will see him in a suit yeah. one day, guys. We'll uh, take care of it. So yeah, um, the all-in-one itself, uh, obviously with the, with the wrapping. I will just pull it off because nobody likes wrapping anyway. There you go. And then... Uh, you want me to go to the mobile cam? Yeah, if possible. Let me first, um, I hope it's high enough. Let, let me first do, the, do a lucky draw. Um, yeah. Because today we have... Uh, a giveaway. Uh, do you maybe have it still there, Ralph? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have a giveaway of a, uh, we call the modern LED Lux uh, screen uh, light bar. Whoa, Whoa, that's a long name. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, Ralph is going to show you. Basically, it's a light you can put on top of your uh, uh, monitor, all in one. But I saw some people in the chat, they prefer to put it above their bed to read <laughs> at night. It all works fine. Uh, it and does yeah. not have RGB for no the RGB people who are asking. No. Yeah. <laughs> not so everything. that's to, to get less eye strain. Uh, so uh, the first winner is uh, like so. Aldrigenko. Aldrigenko. Uh, congrats. Uh, in the coming weeks, I would say. I'm not going to say days, because normally we send out a digital game code. This might take a little bit longer with packing and, and, and uh, uh, shipping, um, but we will uh, send this in the coming week, weeks, I should say, uh, to you. Uh, congrats, and uh, you can still participate. Uh, I will. Ah, I, uh, I need to put the link in the chat. I didn't do that on uh, LinkedIn. Sorry, LinkedIn guys. Sorry, LinkedIn guys. LinkedIn. Okay, Raf, you can, can continue. <laughs> yeah, great. If you can switch the camera, then... Uh I can start talking about this all-in-one. So here in the front. Oh, it's in the description, Raaf. Yeah, it's in the description. Yeah. So be, if yeah, people the, on the LinkedIn, for link. example, want to join uh, the giveaway, they can just go to the description of the live stream and uh, click on the link. I think it's not clickable, but I'm sure you will find it. Right. And the people in uh, Twitch and YouTube, they know what to do. Right. So yeah, this is what it looks like uh, without the standard, obviously. Um, we have uh, multiple cameras here on top and, and some other sensors that I will get back to, uh, to later. But first, let's turn around because there's some interesting stuff there. Let's see if you can see all that. Put it straight. It's counterclockwise for me, so it's a little uh, bit I'm weird. not sure if it's focusing. Maybe take it off. I'm not, yeah. yeah, well, it should focus on the monitor. There. Let me put it down a little bit then. There. Oh, yeah, perfect. That works, right? And then you need to move the bit yeah, for the I.O. Yeah. yeah. So first talking about uh, the back I.O. panel. 
uh, we have two HDMI uh, slots here. Why you're wondering? Well, it's a HDMI in and out, so uh, I will uh, demonstrate later. But um, basically what this means is the HDMI in, you can actually uh, uh, put a, a laptop on the side or a different computer and use this as a screen only in case you wanted to. I don't know why you would, but uh, you know it, it's possible. Uh, HDMI out uh, means you can also have a second screen connected to this uh, computer or all-in-one. Um, if you want to expand your uh, expand your screen, I mean, a lot of people are working on two screens nowadays, so uh, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, two USB 2.0 slots, so these are the standard ones. Uh, a Kensington lock, not to forget, uh, which for business can be very nice because you know it's reinforced. Uh, if you have an if you run an internet cafe and you don't always have supervision, you might want to have uh, you know a lock on there to uh, to make sure your your products don't get stolen. Then uh, one gigabyte, uh, a gigabit LAN port uh, for, uh, for, for wired LAN if you need it. Um, and then a power adapter port. Uh, there's also this button right here, which is our five-way uh, five menu button, basically, OSD button. And uh, this little piece I will open up for you guys to show you what is possible uh, with extending your actual storage space. So I hope the magnet works. There you go. So here you can see there's a little slot. There's actually already an SSD inside. You can just open it, pull it out. It's a little hard drive there. Some, some models will come with a hard drive, some will not, depending on your configuration. But uh, they are definitely swappable. But and this upgradable. is Seagate, right? This is Seagate, yes. Yeah, so this is just a demo model. Uh, I'm not sure what's actually, if you order one with a hard drive, which. Uh, uh, which brand is inside. Uh, some of the SSDs I know are from Western Digital. Correct, yeah. Um, so basically any two and a half inch uh, hard drive or SSD will fit. Um, so yeah, that, that's yeah, so very quite easy a lot to of upgrade. Options. Yeah, and it's just, it comes with this loose tray. You just screw it in and uh, you know, off, you, off you go. Just uh, push it in. Should be quite easy, it clicks and then you know it's stuck. Put the, put the little screw back and you've already upgraded your hard drive. Easy as that. Right, then I need to put it up again a little bit because I need to put the monitor on the side. I like to see Raaf struggle. <laughs> <laughs> so having a look at the side IO panel, I hope uh, you can see it like this. You want me to help? Put no, it a bit fine. higher? No, 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 it's fine. I, I can put it up more actually. This is the first time uh, we use this and it looks uh, promising. There you go. Needs maybe a bit more practice. There. Uh, so, uh, Palamia, uh, uh, Paglamia is asking, what's the reason for 2.0 and not USB 3 or Type-C? Well, that was on the back. We yes. have USB 2.0, just to offer uh, more connectivity, but on the side, Raf. Yeah, here on the side you can see there's uh, USB uh, uh, 3.2, Gen 2, uh, Type-C and A. Uh, all with the 10 gigabyte uh, uh, transfer speed, 10 gigabit. Um, so you have those fast ports here as well. Uh, besides that, there's also a uh, audio in and out jack, and some LED lights for your, uh, you know, your processor and uh, yeah, to make sure it's on, etc. Some LEDs, it's just some notification LEDs. Um, then getting back to the back for a little bit, because then we also have something that could be nice for, for business, which is uh, the VESA mount. Uh, so the VESA mount is a reinforced mount. Uh, in this case, it's a 75 by 75 millimeter standard. Uh, so that means uh, VESA is basically a, um, a, a mounting system that is, um, uh, I'm, I can't find the word. Uh, yeah, it's an international uh, yeah. mounting system. International mounting Universal system. Universal mounting system. So basically, uh, you can buy anywhere. If you Google VESA, you can buy any standard with yeah. VESA. And a, a 75 millimeter is one of the standards. Uh, you can, yeah, it, it's standardized. It's the, uh, it's. Uh, can you maybe show the side graph? Uh, so from the from the side, how thin it is, because this side. Uh, no, yeah. maybe uh, bottom. Oh. Like this. Yeah, like this. Yeah. yeah. So. So this is actually a, uh, a screen, a monitor, with a PC inside. Yeah. 
And this so, is where the, most yeah. of the PC part <laughs> will The be. small part, and then in that you have the complete computer, including CPU, memory, uh, etc. Yeah, correct. Um, so I People think in the chat are already helping you. Standard, standardized. Standardized, yeah, I'm looking for... Uh, we should give you <laughs> bonus points that you have more, uh, more chance to win, but it's a lucky draw, so... <laughs> Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, th I think that covers the housing. Uh, yeah, more on the front uh, cameras later. Uh, we have some extra features for that. So, so uh, this is indeed, uh, sorry, a question in chat. This is indeed uh, uh, Intel 12th Gen, uh, latest generation. This is the mobile platform. Exactly. Yeah. And I think this is the latest platform available, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, latest, uh, latest platform available for all in ones at the moment. And uh, uh, when you remember the roadmap, um, let me go uh, uh, quickly back to it. Um, so, and with Darren, of course, in case he, uh, he can answer some questions. So uh, we have the uh, <laughs> modern versions, uh, which are uh, highlighted, but we also have the pro versions. And the, the main difference between the pro versions, we also have 24 or 27 inch, is that it's a desktop platform. So uh, you get, uh, of course, much more performance, but you also get much more power usage. And for a lot of applications uh, in which these all-in-ones are used, uh, performance is not the biggest issue. Uh, it's more about usability and, and that it operates some interface, uh, sometimes even a web interface, so it needs to run a browser uh, in a kiosk or uh, at some places. So, uh, but yeah, the, so the, the um, where is it? Yeah, the pro version. Uh, so can I do like this? Can you see my uh, mouse? Yeah. yeah. So this one and this one, the two for two, the Pro two for two and the two for uh, uh, seven are Alder Lake um, uh, desktops, and the ones we're talking about today are Alder Lake. Uh, so 12 gen, uh, it means uh, mobile platform. Correct. All right. Um, moving on, we have some uh, some very cool features. Uh, I've shown you the hardware a little bit. Uh, let's now uh, talk about uh, you know some software. Uh, starting with Windows Hello. Oh, oh, this is a live demo which is, uh, which can go wrong. <laughs> we have our experimental webcam setup. Yes, experimental webcam setup right uh, here. Let's see if it's okay. Is it working? Yeah. There you go. So basically I covered the webcam right now, but if I wanted to log in, uh, I already set it up. Uh, it, it comes when oh, you... Sorry. Where are you, Ralph? This one. That, yeah, that's the one. Um, so basically um, you can see here, uh, I covered it now, but if I wanted to log in on this PC, I already have it set up. That's why the fingerprints are on it, um, because it's, uh, it's also a touchscreen. This version is the AM242 uh, TP, so it comes with the adjustable stand and the, uh, uh, the touch option. And uh, Windows Hello basically is a safety lock uh, with biometric face scanning data. So um, when you set up your Windows, you get asked to scan your face. Uh, multiple times or sometimes even once if, if you have a good face um, <laughs> and uh, then uh, windows will automatically recognize you uh, we can demo this actually um, i will have to put the thing off the cover off but if i press spacebar right now then as you can see it automatically signs in it recognized my name i can demo that again actually so if i if I look away, then I you see... I think you see on, on top. You see here yeah. that it's looking for me. Uh, it, that's, that's what it says. It's a little bit of a glare, but... Uh, yeah, uh, looking it, for you. Right now it can't find me. And as soon as I move into the picture, welcome back, Ralph Veltova. That's my name. And then I press spacebar and I'm logged in again. Uh, why do you have paint open, you ask? I will get back to that later. We're going to do a check. <laughs> We're going to do a check. Uh, so Eric's going to try to log in, in in my stead. I'm going to move aside. So I'm not in the frame right now, and Eric is. Make sure it's you. Yeah, it's me. Too, f too <laughs> Hello. far away, moving closer. Making sure it's you. Couldn't recognize you. There you go. So that proves you that it actually works. As we expected. I need obviously. more makeup. <laughs> you need less hair. <laughs> <laughs> that, that will happen automatically. So maybe in a few years' time, it a will strange, pass. Stranger danger. Yeah. yeah. Warning into the wall. No alarm bells will go off, but uh, yeah, at least you can't uh, get into your uh, in your windows. Uh, trust me, there's very bright lights behind me, right here, shining on the computer. 
So the fact that you barely see it uh, means that the anti-glare is actually working. I see some people saying anti-glare OP, but it's actually very good. <laughs> They're um, asking if I can take a photo of your face and hold it in front of it. <laughs> I am. I'm curious if that works. But well, uh, we have something even even more cooler. Yes. Uh, we have uh, we have another feature uh, which is called Toby. Uh, Toby Aware, actually. Sorry for mispronouncing that. Uh, Toby Aware is our next uh, our next feature. Yeah, let's maybe talk with um, with Darren. Yeah, with Darren about it because uh, Darren, I know Toby from the eye tracking technology, uh, which is from gaming. Yes. Yep. <laughs> so uh, how how this how did this feature come in all on one? Because actually, it's like I, I remember it's technology, and you could watch on the screen and then uh, move the mouse, uh, let's say like that. So how did it now become yeah. Toby Aware? Uh, because they are uh, good at the uh, eye tracking, so they put this feature on the commercial product to enhance the privacy, and also. Uh, uh, they have one feature like uh, when people uh, want to move the the windows on the AIO, they can use their eye to move to the external screen. Then the the uh, the screen they want to move will just jump to the external. Okay, point. so basically drag and drop. Drag and drop, yeah. With your eyes, so you can yeah. Yeah. move it. <laughs> and then by accident you put it in your trash bin. <laughs> <laughs> Delete. Perfect. Yes, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, Raf already played with it, and I think it's quite cool. So Raf, can you let me see yes. detailed so, cam? Yes, the detailed cam. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm sitting in front of my PC, which, uh, which keep it, keeps it unlocked, uh, like it should. Um, and uh, it should, as soon as I uh, look away or walk away from my computer, it should put over over the screen an overlay that is blurry. So let's say I'm uh, I'm, I'm working on uh, something something really important. Ooh, touch screen, touch screen. Oh yes, it's a touch screen. So let's say I'm working on a very important uh, uh, Word document where we don't have a license for. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're working on something cool. Notepad. Yeah, notepad, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't have to have it open. And I look away. Then you see it's not working right now. Uh, you maybe okay. need to enable it. Yeah, maybe I need to enable it. Let me In see. the software. Toby. Oh, did you put the uh, capture? Oh, yeah, well, let's wait. Oh, there you go. See, this is the menu. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's because the capture is inside. Yes, is sir. the capture in? Yes. The capture oh, yeah, is then in. it doesn't work. There you go. Yeah, sorry for this sorry, live yeah, stream it's it's that you can see the screen. We're also having a capture cable inside, and then this technology doesn't work. Exactly. Oh, you can already see it. As soon as I look away, then the screen will blur. But not just that. Um, also, let's say uh, I'm working on some important document. And Eric wants to, you know, uh, wants to review my data uh, behind me. So I'm, I'm just going to pretend I'm working. And Eric's trying to look over my shoulder. Then you can see it also locks and blurs. And you can even see that right here and right here, it shows that somebody is watching over your shoulder. So we'll instantly lock. Can you try it again, Eric? <laughs> Be fast. See, it shows up his yeah. face here. And then when I try to read it, it locks. Yeah, and then when he tries to read it, it locks. So uh, you can also disable this, like you, like you can see, uh, beacon detection off. You can also say uh, that uh, when uh, the blur is, is there, you don't see the people walking, looking over your shoulder. Or you can only choose the blur, or you can only choose the, the peaking detection. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very cool feature nonetheless. If you're working on those secret <laughs> documents for uh, the Russian government or something, I don't know. Some <laughs> people in the chat have different uh, purposes for this. Parental protection in reverse. Your, hey. mom, your mom can see what you're doing. Yeah, so if your mom walks into your room and you're doing uh, something that's not allowed, then, uh, you know, she can... Uh, she can, uh, she can, uh, she cannot see your screen basically. Yeah, yeah, good idea, good idea. Good idea, very good idea. I'm going yeah. to block somebody in the chat. He's uh, <laughs> spamming some links we don't like. One moment. Yeah, good timing. Anyway, um, 
so that's that's Toby, Toby Aware. Um, it works very well. It also locks your computer when you're actually gone from the computer for a long time. So you can set up uh, like 15 seconds or even 15 minutes, uh, depending on, on, on your preference. You can actually see that here. It's now on 45 seconds auto lock, but then it will have to go back to Windows. And then you need Windows Hello again to sign in. So uh, for the user, it's very convenient. But for, you know, for, for people that are trying to get into your system or log into your system, it blurs. If it blurs, uh, can you switch the camera, actually, Eric? Oh, sorry, um, the Mo, the detailed cam, yes. So let's say it blurs because I'm not watching. It's still detecting my face. And I try to press spacebar. Oh, it's paused now. Okay. Oh, it's snoozed, okay. I must have uh, put in a wrong setting, but uh, basically, if... Uh, if I'm not uh, if not I'm not looking at the screen and somebody tries to log in, it will also auto log to uh, to Windows Home home screen. Always uh, with a live demo. Off. What's that? Sorry. Always with live. Always demo. with a live demo. You will always see that uh, <laughs> that it doesn't work when you want. I'm it to uh, work. going to do another uh, giveaway. Yeah, good good points. Drawing. Yeah, I'm still awake. In three, two, one. There you go. Yeah, so, so today I will tell you about more of the giveaway, actually, while Eric is pulling it up. Um, today we'll be giving away this, uh, this LED light, Lux. It's, uh, it's a light for on top of your monitor to prevent eye strain. Uh, you can see it here, oh, actually this side on top as well. Uh, it's not RGB, but it, it does protect your eyes uh, for those long business hours. It also lights up your keyboard and your working space, uh, but not the whole room, you know. It just lights up the part that it needs to, so it's actually very nice. Uh, you can win one of these by uh, checking the spam bot on, uh, on YouTube and Facebook, I think. Uh, and the links for the Gleam giveaway uh, uh, to be eligible are also in the description. So uh, you, can, uh, you yeah. can find those there. The next winner uh, for this um, item is... Product. Sorry? <laughs> for this product. Yeah. Uh, me or you? No, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, Godly. Godly, yes. what a name. So Godly, congrats. Congratulations, my guy. In the coming weeks, we will send one to you. Uh, so we will probably, yeah, I think we have to uh, contact everybody for the address uh, information. Yes. Um, because you didn't leave that, of course. Uh, but we will send you an email, contact you for your address information. Yeah, exactly. Because we're not allowed to pull that from anywhere else. So <coughs> we only see your email or your username, I think. Yeah. So Raaf, yeah. maybe you can uh, show OSD control? Yes, so the next step, uh, if you switch the camera. Yeah, so on the, on the back. Yeah, I've already see, uh, shown on, uh, the button when uh, unboxing the other all-in-one. So this is the five-way joystick that you have uh, on most monitors from MSI, actually, and also uh, our all-in-ones. Uh, if you press it, you get into the OSD. Um, yeah, OSD is, is, is actually very straightforward. Uh, you have contrast settings, sharpness, brightness, uh, and, and different user modes, uh, like a low blue light mode, which is actually TUV certified, which means it's pretty good. Uh, also for those eye strain uh, uh, moments. Uh, energy or eye saver here is on or off. You can see the difference. Uh, it really takes out the blue light. Uh, color temperature, screen size, it shows you some information about the screen, um, the aspect ratio, and you can also um, change the input source, which also ties into my next, uh, next demo, and some transparency settings of the, the uh, OSD itself. Uh, just to show you uh, a live demo of, um, of how it actually works when you connect uh, a notebook, for example, and you want to use it as a monitor, I have a HDMI, HDMI connected here, should be in the right port. I basically connect it to my notebook and then I use the OSD, like you just saw, to select the input source to HDMI and then my notebook has to be on, obviously. And then you can see here's my, my notebook screen, which is, uh, which is now the same. There you go. So that's a very easy, very easy extension indeed. So basically, you can uh, just use it as a monitor as well. Yes. But so that's the HDMI in version. That's the HDMI in version. But you yes. also have HDMI out, right? Yes. So the HDMI out is for uh, for a monitor specifically. If you want to connect an extra monitor, you can. 
Dual screen setup. Just for dual screen setup, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, or maybe towards a TV if you want to give a, or Beamer if you want to give a presentation, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. If, I mean, these PCs are pretty much, you know. Uh, I see a question carry. about our logo which is displayed, uh, the MSI logo. Uh, yeah, good question. Um, so we have different product groups in MSI, and even we have uh, some products that we are not talking about in general, or maybe you don't know. For example, we also have a department which makes entertainment systems for uh, airplanes and uh, buses. So um, <laughs> like when you go into an airplane, you watch a movie, uh, these kind of systems uh, MSI is also making. Uh, this logo when it was introduced, I believe, for, uh, for our let's say our professional or commercial uh, products like our commercial notebooks or commercial uh, all the ones what we're talking about today so that's basically uh, the, the product lines for the on the left side top left side you see the MSI logo for the MS insider logo what we're using on our gaming products yes so it's both same company just different product line different logo and different people well not us I mean we're always there right yeah, basically the, the, the business line of MSI, so the non-gaming non line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice logo, I think. I hope uh, people don't see it as a three. Can you turn uh, off the all-in-one and make it work as a monitor? Yes, that's what uh, Raaf just demoed. Yes, sir, yeah. Um, so one, you don't Carlos. have to use it as a, monitor, as a full PC if you don't want to. Uh, I would say that's what you buy it for, but uh, if, if you want to have the option, you can just have a laptop on the side and connect it whenever you want. You can also switch inputs whenever you want. So if you have it always connected, you always have a choice. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, some people might have an all-in-one at home for when, uh, when they leave their laptop at work. And then when they come home working with their laptop, they can also use it as a sec second monitor if you, you know, really are adamant on working on your notebook, for example. I have a question in the chat, let me see, maybe this is a, a good one uh, for Darren. Uh, Darren, thank you that you're still there. Um, yeah, uh, I'm still oh, here. One moment, one moment, where is the, the, the question? Are the panels factory tuned for color accuracy? So, uh, I know we have some uh, design monitors where we do that, uh, so that's really high end. So, do we also uh, color tune? Uh, let's say the panels for color accuracy. What do we tune the colors for panel? Uh, uh, the panels for color accuracy. Uh, we we will not do the uh, color uh, test uh, accuracy test before the uh, during the production line. Mm -hmm. but, but actually, we use the uh, high end uh, Intel touch screen from LG. So I think the, the color uh, accuracy. Is, it's also in about the average. Yeah, so this is all, all set in firmware, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Merrick uh, indeed, uh, creator monitors. Uh, yeah, that's a different, uh, yeah, uh, it's different, a different segment, segment, really high end, yeah. and then color accuracy is really important. Yeah. If you right. get, I th maybe if you get more into the high end. All in once, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah. But, but then uh, you talk about uh, Adobe uh, colors, uh, sRGB colors, all those color yeah. profiles. Also, if you're a designer, you want a more powerful PC, I think, than, than a basic all in one. Uh, most designers have a really high workload when it comes to rendering and uh, uh, images or even 3D uh, images, stuff like that. So it's a, it's a very different segment than uh, what, we use, what we would use an all in one for, uh, what we designed it for. Yeah. So uh, Ralph, can you connect the capture cable? Yes, sir. I just wanted to show the touch before we do that. Oh, touch, yeah, sure. Yes. Since we have the camera uh, set up now how anyway. How to do that? Uh, detailed cam. Detailed cam, yes. So yes, it works. Uh, like uh, Darren uh, already mentioned, it is uh, 10. Uh, oh, I shouldn't look away from my screen because then it locks. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's, um, uh, Incel uh, 10 touch, which means you can touch it with 10 fingers and it will register all of those. And just to demo that in a very simple way, I will show you on uh, Paint. I will just uh, show you with, with my full, full range of, of hands. And if I pull it down, you can see it registers everything at the same time. So I can draw circles. Yeah. I, I can do everything. There's, there's multiple applications that will benefit from this, like some 3D applications. If you really have to zoom in, turn the image, uh, stuff like that, 
uh, it, it can be nice, but um, uh, yeah, at least the capability is there if you if you need it. Yeah. So it's and, and nice this is important to highlight. Thank finger touch because there are a lot of applications which of oh, sorry screens. Raf, <laughs> it's blurring. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there are a lot of. Um, so it's working good. There are a lot of uh, screens which only have uh, one or two finger touch. Uh, so and then not all the applications are working. Yes, sir. All right, moving on. Uh, I need to connect the capture for one second. Maybe we can do another giveaway. Is that an idea? We still have a couple. With Toby, you can control the mouse and therefore draw with your eyes. I know normally Toby is doing that. I'm not sure if this Toby can do that as well. But like what Darren already told us, you actually can draw a window from one screen to another. But we don't have a second monitor set up. And we didn't test that. Maybe later if we have time left. Yeah, if you mm -hmm. guys want us to show you something or uh, something specific or test what we haven't already done yeah. yet. Uh, Ralph, did you connect the capture of yeah, the capture? I did, yes. So and it, it works. Work there you go. Well, as you can see, Windows Hello uh, looking for me. So trying to move closer. Good evening, Mr. Ralph. And it unlocks very easy once again. Um, Safe. Well, Huh? That can be your next wallpaper. What? Oh, <laughs> sell it as an <laughs> NFT. The bear claw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, moving on. Uh, we have a, a, a gaming center or MSI center, sorry, uh, which is a piece of software that MSI uh, all in ones come come with, which uh, which has multiple features. Uh, it should be already up to date, but as you can see, there's multiple. Oh, switch. Uh, Switch cameras, please. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, there's there's multiple features involved, uh, but basically it's 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 ma mainly used for hardware monitoring like this, uh, or uh, you know what, what what for business would be nice is, is the land manager, so you can uh, give priority to different uh, different processes on uh, on the web. Um, easy recovery which is uh, very nice for uh, for your backups if you need to recover something something goes wrong you can uh, you can repair it or restore it here and uh, uh, to free up memory or, or clean up your disk uh, then also some important feature is uh, actually sound tune and uh, what sound tune basically is we we already dedicated a very big live stream to sound tune I think Eric did in the past yeah um, with ja so, with ja and uh, they explained it very well. They showcased a lot of it uh, there as well. So um, uh, I think it's very easy to find if you go to uh, to YouTube and just type So basically, sound tune, tune is a background noise filter. Yes. Uh, when somebody is a vacuum cleaner or playing guitar, uh, and you have a like a Teams meeting or, or a, a Zoom meeting, uh, basically you can enable uh, sound tune, and then all the background noise is filtered. But you can still talk with your colleagues or with your customers. Exactly. And also. Um, uh, yeah, for those Teams conversations, you know, uh, it works on, on the microphone and the speakers. So uh, uh, it basically filters out all the background noise that you that you don't want to have. And uh, especially for those uh, for those meetings in busy offices and, and stuff, it's very nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, so that's one included. thing I want to talk about is software, Raf. Um, Maybe you can pull it up again. Oh yes. Uh, people who already know longer MSI uh, and, and had MSI before, uh, they probably know in the past we had a lot of software, and uh, it was quite annoying, almost feeling like like how do you say that spyware? You know, everywhere applications <laughs> and icons Pop and, ups everywhere, and uh, yeah. in the in the system tray. So uh, uh, we noticed. Uh, we, we had your complaints. Uh, what we did, we and this this is what uh, we did with Michiel uh, Peter. Uh, ja, uh, we merged this software together, and we didn't do this because we cannot program shit, but uh, this was done by our headquarters uh, programming team. But we basically, we, we suggested them, hey, can we not put this together, uh, all the different software into one software, and make it modular? Uh, which basically means if there is one of the features you don't want, or you don't like, and you don't want to use, you don't have to install it. It's not taking up memory, it's not taking up hard disk space, so basically, uh, MSI Center covers still all the features uh, we have, like what Ralph explained. And um, if you, for example, this is now an all-in-one, so it's, it's more uh, tailored to business and you have a, a set of features. If you have an MSI gaming keyboard or gaming mouse with, for example, RGB, uh, you can here uh, install, it probably will pop up like, hey, do you want to install this? 
uh, a module where you can adjust the RGB colors. Yeah. Uh, if you have an MSI VJ card, of course, it doesn't fit in all in one, but uh, if you have a desktop built uh, with MSI VJ card, you can uh, overclock it with this software. You can also do the RGB with this software. So based on the different um, MSI hardware you have, uh, this MSI center will offer you the right modules and you can customize if you want. And if you don't want it, you don't have to install it. It's not, uh, you're not obliged to install it. Um, and you can customize it based on whatever you need. So I'm, I'm really happy with it because we spent a lot of time on it. And in my opinion, it proved the situation a lot. Instead of pushing you all the software in your face, uh, you have a lightweight application which you can tailor uh, how, whatever you, for your needs. Yeah. Yeah, and you can also, I think you can... Can MSI Cloud Center? Uh, you can talk about that right, Raf. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, or man. Uh, I'm not assuming anything. Um, Cloud Center is actually uh, our next subject. Uh, so uh, uh, w within MSI, uh, if we can s actually switch, switch uh, I to the I have a movie for that. You want me to play it first? Yes, if we can switch the, the scenes, then... Uh, Let's hope this works with audio. <laughs> um, so Let MSI Cloud see. Center indeed is, uh, is our new or uh, our latest cloud service. Um, it's, it's basically everything from, from backups to downloads to is share files audio? between your PC, yes, it is. Android. There you go, you can see the video now. Uh, we don't have sound, right, for the video? So we have I, sound. I can, oh, then I will stop talking. <laughs> uh, probably it's just music. Yeah. So basically, as you can see, uh, you can pull up QR codes for your files. Um, it's very easy to share things with your colleagues just by a QR code. Uh, so it, it's cross-platform. Um, it's also very easy to log in with, your, with a QR code on your phone. Uh, it will just take all your information automatically. Let and, me and put Darren in. here. What's that? Because I think Darren is expert on this. Yes, Darren, are you still here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, have you used Cloud Center before, Darren? Yes, I, I tried before. Yeah. And you are actively using it now. Uh, basically, the Cloud Center uh, works well on the uh, iOS or the Android phone. Mm -hmm. So when when you are uh, back home, uh, you, you can uh, automatically uh, upload all your media file photos or videos to your uh, PC. And then uh, use the uh, smart image finder in the uh, MSI center. Uh, those photos will be uh, automatically uh, uh, be tagged so you can easily find the, the right photos by the uh, MSI uh, image finder so um, Correct. Yeah. Very, yeah it's very easy to, to use nice and manage the photo right yeah so it's basically a, a private cloud and it's secure uh, it's very easy to share and also ties into MSI center to uh, right. to to sync your uh, your photos and, and videos and other files uh, from your computer to uh, to the cloud. I have a right. question. Oh, sorry, so, Darren. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, uh, because we, we all know that uh, the the, uh, the free iCloud or in the free uh, Google Drive, mm -hmm. the, the storage size is limited. Yeah. So, yeah, everyone complains about. The, the, the yes. storage size is too small. But when you use the MSI Cloud and the the storage is based on the hard drive you, you have. So 1T, 2T, it, 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 it's big enough to, for users to use. Yeah. yeah, so the sky's the limit as long as you have the hardware yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. And um, I have a question in the chat. Uh, can MSI Cloud Center be used with any other PC, or is it just all at once? Uh, all the commercial product line, right? including the from the MSI, desktop. right? Yeah, for <laughs> MSI, yeah. but currently no gaming PC. Yeah, not gaming PC. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we have another uh, interesting question. Probably uh, uh, Hung Games <laughs> uh, joins when we're talking about uh, our uh, gaming products. Can we overclock the CPU in the monitor? <laughs> That's a good question. So, 
basically yes, but I would say it's limited because of the the limited space, right? So you don't have a lot of. Uh, well, actually, let me say this should not be overclocked. This is there is no need to do this uh, because there's a 12 gen uh, mobile platform inside which gives you enough speed. But I think you can overclock it, uh, Darren. You mean the the AI product? AI product? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can, uh, yeah, this is a gamer and he wants to overclock everything. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, I, the the commercial product line is more uh, focused on the uh, state stable. Yeah. So we 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 don't offer the overclock setting. On, on, True, on, uh, I forgot that in the BIOS there are no over, no voltages or no difficult uh, settings in DHS. Yes, that's that's logical. Yeah. But with yeah. external tools, probably you can fine tune a little bit, get some uh, values up. But yeah, it's uh, a yeah. stability. Is the focus here exactly? If you yeah. have a, if you have a product like this, then I think uh, you buy an all-in-one, especially for for business or something like that. You want longevity over uh, over speed, right? Uh, so you want it to last long. Yeah. If you overclock, then you know your products will last less long in general. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's it's optimized for that. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Um. I'm going to do a giveaway, okay? Another giveaway? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, why not? Definitely, yeah. Uh, so I will show you again what it is. I will do my sales, <laughs> sales pitch once again. <laughs> so if you participate in the giveaway, you can still do that uh, in uh, YouTube and Twitch. Uh, the link is uh, posted there by our spam bot. And ah, this, is not, this is not allowed. Not allowed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cannot win. Okay. Anyway, next winner. Mr. Masterdocs, congrats. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Why my name doesn't show up? I don't know. You did, uh, did compete. So yeah. uh, for, for everyone that's still watching or that's just tuning in, we are giving away uh, some of these products. My reading light for his bed. The modern LED Lux. Uh, if you have eye strain during, uh, during work or maybe some late hours at home or uh, you know just sitting behind your computer, <laughs> Uh, or you can even hang it above your bed if you want to. Um, <laughs> it's not what it's made for, but you could. Uh, then uh, you can win this light. Um, it, it goes right on top of your monitor. I will show you one last time. Well, if you're talking is. promoting, it's so much like you need to sell it. <laughs> it's for free. We give it away. <laughs> we give it away for free. Yeah. So it's on top of your monitor. It's not RGB. It's uh, it's not a gaming product, but uh, it's a yeah. USB powered, correct? It's USB powered. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. It comes with a little USB cable. So, uh, yeah, very easy to use. You can adjust the brightness on and off. It's a very simple product, but very effective. Excellent. Yeah. Remember so to unlock your bonus, loyalty bonus, yes. Actually, Mr. Masterdocs, today you did not win with your loyalty bonus. Nope. But probably, well, actually, it doesn't show, uh, but I'm I sure it, it helps yeah, you. Yeah, it does. The, it's, I think it's the retweet that won it for him. Yeah. This time, yeah. But he has more entries, so it will show. Anyway. Oh, I pulled out uh, Darren uh, by accident. <laughs> Where's the cable? <laughs> Raf, are you still there? Yes, I pulled out Darren by accident, so I can't hear Darren oh. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to put it in? Uh, it's the glued to the desk, at the bottom of the desk. I don't know which one, which one, which one. Which one? Uh oh, yeah. uh oh. It's, there's so many cables here. Let, let, me, let me double check. <laughs> it's glued. It's taped uh, on top of, uh, above you. Oh, it's above me. On yeah, the this one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, found it. Sorry, guys. Live productions are always great when it goes good, but uh, sometimes things go wrong. But he was right, because a lot of times in the past we looked for the connector. <laughs> That's why we put it at the bottom of it's the desk. It's glued to the bottom of the desk. Yeah. So I was looking on the floor, but it was right above me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you were in panic, right? No, I was panicking, uh. but uh, yeah, people just have to wait. May, uh, you could have always done another giveaway. But, uh, uh, Cloud Center is, is uh, included. Uh, Juan Carlos is also asking, is it included in the MSI 11 Gen? Darren, do you know this? Uh, do you mean... Uh, Cloud Center work on the 11 gen? Well, he's actually saying, yeah, can I use it on the 11 gen? But then it's, yeah, basically that's the question. So, yes. he, yeah, so all on the one products, right? Yeah. So, the if Cloud Center work 
on the commercial product line. Okay. So 11 gen, 10 gen should you also support it? Yeah, and it's uh, for free. Uh, you can download from the website. Yes, you don't have to pay. Actually, you right, can always transfer free. me money. No problem. <laughs> no, it's for free. It's <laughs> My joking. PayPal is in the description. For, no, don't do that, guys. <laughs> for the new models, we will uh, pre preload the MSI Cloud Center. Okay. But for the older version, you, you can always download it from our website. Yeah, msi.com. Yeah. All right. Um, I think then we uh, we can uh, move on to uh, to the actual screen. Uh, we've already shown you the touch. Um, uh, this, uh, this screen also has some other features, uh, which uh, is, is the eye care that I already talked about. So it's anti-flicker, uh, anti it has a blue light filter, which is TUV certified. So uh, it actually has a certification from an from a independent company for that. Uh, and uh, an anti-glare screen. Uh, so you can see on the left side on this slide, it's maybe a little bit confusing, but that's what it would look like with uh, eye care technology. And uh, without, uh, you can see the monitor with flicker, blue light off, and, the, and with a glared screen, basically. So that's, that's what we filter out with our eye care technology. So especially for those long working hours, you know, uh, you get headaches. Uh, I don't know if you actually do uh, when you're gaming or something, uh, Eric, or like work for long days, but I sometimes get headaches from the, from the I screen. Actually, I, uh, when I'm reading on my phone, I also switch on a blue light filter. Yeah, especially at night. Yeah. Uh, or maybe you want to go to bed in a couple of hours, you know, and you're still working on something. That's that's what they advise indeed. Uh, yeah. You can uh, automate this, like uh, blue light filter switches on uh, when um, uh, yeah when it's evening. So you gradually it it uh, um, how do you say that? It it removes. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm I'm confused. Blue light is is for filtering out the blue light, so you yes. get less eye restraints. I'm talking about something else. I'm talking about the, the yellow light, basically. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's some some apps add, add, actually add yellow light, but this this filters out the blue light. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the actual panels are uh, for for the 27 inch. I just showed you that I uh, unboxed. Uh, it was. Can maybe compare them, the two models? In size. Next yeah, to you have them yeah, there, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Somewhere. I need to grab it with all my cables attached. But one second. Whoop. Uh oh. <sighs> So this would be the 27 inch, and I have the 24 inch right here. We don't need it anymore, right? Uh, don't think so. Don't need to show anything anymore. So I will Obviously, I didn't put the standard on yet because we had a, a model that was already functioning. But just to give you an idea of the oh, size. Oh, the fingers are off, yeah. Of the size difference. Here they are next to each other, so 24 and 27, and then on top of each other. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But yeah, it's quite a bit bigger. The 27 inch actually does not come with touch, so that's one, one thing to keep in mind for now. Uh, with the current market and conf configurations, uh, the 24 inch does. That's correct, right, Darren? Oh, let me sorry, put, uh, put that there. in the yeah, inside. He says, yes, it's correct. You, you guys can hear, I don't think, but uh, yeah, it's correct. All right. Um, yeah, so the 27-inch the uh, is a full, full HD IPS panel, so great viewing angles, uh, uh, which is nice for when somebody tries to peek. <laughs> and uh, um, the 24-inch also comes with an IPS panel and then the option for in-cell 10-point touch, of course which we already live demoed. Yeah. Let me, yeah, I mean, we're almost finished. We're just going to talk about pricing. So I'm going to do a new lucky draw. Yeah, let's do another one. Next winner, Nieuw Linkster. Nieuw Congratulations, Linkster. Nieuw Linkster. In the coming days, we will contact you for your address details, and then we will ship it to you. Congratulations. Thanks for joining. You can still participate. I'm still going to do one more lucky draw. In the end. Um, at the end of the live stream. Uh, link, I'm sure you already know where to find it. Uh, it's in the description of uh, LinkedIn, on YouTube and Twitch, our spam bot is spamming it. Exactly. It also redirects you to the website where you can see all the use case scenarios and all yeah. that stuff. So uh, yeah, definitely go check that out. 
So um, some of the last other features that we haven't covered yet um, are uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, so the, all these models come with, uh, all the models for 27 inch, 24 inch that we currently have available come with uh, Wi-Fi 6E, uh, which is up to 2.4 gigabit uh, speed uh, with the uh, MuMimo uh, uh, protocol. Uh, so yeah, uh, very fast LAN. Uh, besides that, you also have a, a LAN port like I showed you before with uh, one gigabit speed as well. I think this is uh, Intel uh, Wi-Fi, right? Yes. So it's uh, AX211. Yes, but correct. again, I always, uh, I always tell you, uh, please check, go to your store, check your specs, what you're buying, because yes, the model we are talking today, of, uh, yeah, about today, is configured with Wi-Fi 6C, Intel Wi-Fi 6C. I'm sure there are also other configurations to make, depending on the, on the SKU, depending on the country. So make sure you get what you, what you want, basically. Exactly. Don't uh, if you if you're watching this stream in half a year's time, there <laughs> might also be other configurations. So uh, yeah, you never know. Uh, uh, always always you know look it up yourself. Contact your reseller or your local store, and uh, that's where you uh, will find the actual information that's current and available right now. Uh, Pakla Mia has a good question. Um, uh, can you use a pen to write on the screen? And then of course we talk about the touch screen. Darren, do you know if it's possible? With like a touch pen, uh, well, it's not this one, but to use it for uh, putting signatures on documents or on... Actually, we, we, we don't uh, test the, the, the touch pen, the, you mean the sty stylus mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. our uh, AIO? Yeah, we, we, we don't have any, uh, we, we don't have tests on, on that. We got too, too many different kind of uh, stylus on, on the market. Yeah, but yeah. basically, the touchscreen is capacity touchscreen. Then it should yeah, work, so right? Yeah, it should work. Yeah. But oh, yeah, like what Darren says, I mean, uh, no guarantees. Yeah, it should <coughs> it should technically work because it's a uh, uh, receptive touch. But uh, you're connecting it again, Ralph? No, it's fine. Oh yeah, I can connect it and try with maybe the backside of the screwdriver, see if it works, and then the pen would definitely work, right? No, but you're connecting the all-in-one again? Yes. Uh, Juan Carlos is asking where to download MSI Cloud Center. If you go to msi.com and you browse to one of these products, for example, uh, the modern AM242, uh, in downloads, uh, you can find it. If you want, I can show to you, but yeah, well, that should be, should be easy. <coughs> is there still anything what you want to show, Raf? Uh, yes, one last thing I want to show, which is uh, uh, about audio, which I almost forgot. Oh. I need my special webcam Again, for this. Uh, let me see the mobile cam. The mobile cam, yes, sir. Oh, no, that's the wrong one, the detailed cam. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. There you go. It's, uh, it's rebooting because we pulled out the, uh, the power, but uh, I will show you in a second what we're talking about. So what is what is DTS? DTS is pretty much uh, an audio enhancer. Um, so uh, there's different profiles available for that. Uh, you can you can set up different profiles, equalizers, stuff like that uh, to improve your audio. And DTS is actually a standard for audio, lossless, lossless music and, and premium sound quality. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a better experience when, when listening to, uh, to audio. I just have to look at my screen again, and it logs in. That's very nice. Um, so now that we're logged in, I can show you. Can we do this with capture? No. Uh, no, because it's not in there. OK. Uh, let's see. DTS. Oh, I can actually test the DTS. Oh. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe uh, put in the capture. I think then it's more clear. There you go. All right. I will. Hold on, one second. Ah, it won't work with the cap. Oh, it does actually. Hold on. There. Let me see if it works. Yes. Yeah, you got it. All right. So let me see if the touch actually works. If I press an object on top. Hold on. Let me first log in. Oh, I can actually swipe it. 
So here's DTS. Let me see for the question in the chat. Paint. So if I talk, touch it with an object, it doesn't actually work. So maybe a pen would, but uh, definitely not the back of a of a normal pen. Oh, you're testing like the touch part, yeah. Yes. That really depends on on the, the pen, indeed. Yeah. So as you can see, here's DTS. I see somebody um, in chat also saying it really depends on the type of pen you're using. Uh, with a rubber tip works because of the capacitive of a capac uh, there you go. capacitive uh, nature. The ones with plastic tip, uh, like PDAs, they won't work. They're made for resistive uh, touchscreens. Exactly. Okay. Great. Thank you for that. Uh, let me actually uh, change the sound settings because I need to. Well, uh, if we put in a capture card, then the sound settings always go towards the capture card. So I need to make sure it's on the normal speakers. And then you can see DTS actually starts working. And then you can put it on music mode, movie mode, games or custom audio, and then you can customize some features, like how wide your audio spectrum is, if it's in front of you, or traditional treble, uh, enhancer, vocal boost, bass boost, you know, uh, wh whatever you want. Uh, there's a graphic EQ, so it's an equalizer as well. Uh, you can put it on and off. Uh, so actually, pretty detailed settings. Um, and, and yeah, it will just enhance your, your listening experience, basically. Uh, so everybody has a preference when it comes to sound, right? From my experience, even if you have the best sound, it's usually very flat. Uh, so audio engineers listen very differently to, to sound than, uh, than you know, me or Eric would. Um, so yeah, and everybody has a preference. That's why, hence the equalizer and the different profiles. And you can customize you know, at will. Then next, uh, I think we can uh, discuss the pricing. Unless there's any interesting questions still in the chat. Uh. Yeah, so um, here we have an overview of different SKU we are offering worldwide. Again, this is not a complete overview. We have too many models. Uh, so uh, different per model. Um, uh, this is the MRSRP uh, with 22% uh, VAT. It's based on uh, the average European uh, VAT. However, please check with your local pricing because this is uh, MSRP. Uh, you can probably get it for another price. Um, some of the models have uh, the 10 finger touch, uh, Ralph was demo demonstrating. Uh, CPUs, we basically have configurations of uh, two different uh, uh, mobile CPUs. One is an i5-1240P, uh, another one is an i7-1260P. They both have uh, 12 cores and 16 threads. The difference is uh, the clock speeds and the cache. Uh, and both are mobile. Uh, this is platform is based on DDR4. And that's because of the pricing, because DDR5, especially in, in this segment, doesn't offer any benefit. Uh, so we decided to go with DDR4. And you can either have one, uh, one 8 gigabyte DIMM or 260, oh, sorry, 28, which means 16, or 216, which means 32 uh, gig. Uh, Storage, also in different configurations, yep. uh, from 250 gig to 512, 1 terabyte SSD, and then some also have a 1 terabyte uh, 2.5 inch hard drive. Already sa saw an interesting comment in the chat, uh, maybe next generation we can make that the M.2 uh, SSD is also upgradable, like with a bay, you can upgrade it. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, good feedback. At this moment, there are still a lot of 2.5 inches in the market, but slowly we're moving to the M.2s because they're, uh, especially for desktops, very convenient. You don't have to attach all the cables, etc. Uh, you just uh, put in the M.2. Uh, and it, yeah, nowadays they need to be cooled, uh, but uh, you just put it in and it works. So, yeah, maybe that's something for next generation. Uh, good idea. Some, uh, you can see, have an adjustable stand, and then in the first, first uh, column, you see that those models have a P in the name, so it's modern AM2, the model on top, modern AM242 TP, T is touch, P is adjustable stand, and yeah, there it says basically uh, the configuration. Some of these models have three years warranties because they are often in certain markets. But again, this is just an indication for you that you have some ID uh, with 20-22% uh, VAT in Europe. Yeah. Uh, please check your local store, your local reseller to get a, a clear ID what they're offering in your market. And I'm sure, uh, because this is a, a, what we call a commercial uh, business or pro uh, products, this is also done on project size. So if you have a, 
big project uh, with an uh, X number, I don't know how many, uh, these models are also customizable for you. Uh, so you can also check uh, always with our sales. And like what Ralph already said, they come with the Intel AX211 uh, Wi-Fi. 11, yeah. Uh, 211, yeah, sorry, 211. <laughs> that's uh, that's touch. 211. Um, are there any more questions? For Darren, maybe, or for ourselves? Feel free to use them now. Because then I'm going to do the uh, last another giveaway. lucky draw. Yes. Not easy. <laughs> Maybe I win. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably not. Drum I roll, never won. Drum roll. Ah, ah well, Eric didn't win. Anyway, uh, uh, Sweaty. Sweaty. Sweaty, yeah, <laughs> that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Sweaty, congrats. Uh, in the coming days, we will contact you to uh, get your address details, and then we will uh, ship you one of the prizes. Don't um, sweat it. Yeah. Thanks all for joining. Thank you, Darren, as well, for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Darren. Uh, it's, uh, yep. What is the time right now? 11.30? Correct. Right. Yeah. Wow, bedtime. Yeah. Almost bedtime. Bedtime, <laughs> indeed. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for helping us uh, answer uh, questions. Um, and yeah, sure, when we're in ASU, we will visit you as well. Uh, we'll bring you something uh, as a thank you. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining as well. So bye bye, Darren. Thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks. Uh, so uh, thank you all. Um, we hope to see you next week, next week, Wednesday. Ah, I can remove this. <laughs> yeah. With the headphones, uh, it's not only giving me a, ha uh, like a haircut, like... Bad hair day. Bad hair day. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter for me. Um, but also, uh, probably I'm shouting harder because I don't hear myself. Ah. So, uh, Ralph, next week. Yeah, next week, uh, to be determined, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, we, 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 we are still looking into uh, what options we have for streaming. Yeah. We have it's always like that. We have a lot of hardware coming up. But, you know, sometimes samples delay or launches delay. Uh, next week, we're going to do something with gaming. I'm sure uh, about that. Um, well, I'm not sure about that, but probably a big <laughs> chance. Perhaps. Yeah, Michiel was already uh, coming up with ideas. What if we do this? And what if we do this? I said, what, what, what did they have? I don't remember. World of Warcraft, I think. No, no, no. The, oh. That's uh, still. Uh, oh, that's, that's still a long way out. Like, anyway, yeah. he had something. I said, no, 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 not that game. Overwatch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, if you have suggestions on what games we should cover in the future, feel yeah. free to comment them. Put it in the comments, yeah. indeed. So for now, thank you all. Goodbye. Mm. Goodbye. See you next week. Next week, Wednesday. Same time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.